Hello friends, welcome to the third video of the Diabetes Prediction System video series. In the first video, we have discussed the basics of the project. In the second video, we have worked on the backend, that is the training of our machine learning model for the prediction. And from this video onwards, we will work on the graphical user interface. So for that, we will be using a Python web framework called Django and we will be using PyCharm IDE for this. So uh, let's begin. Now, make sure that you have already installed Django on your systems. In case you have not uh, installed Django, you can refer to these steps. Um, open Anaconda prompt on your laptop or desktop. Then just type this command and it will be installed in like 5 to 10 minutes. So let's start working on our project. First of all, open this PyCharm IDE on your laptop. Uh, the link to download PyCharm is also available below in the description. If, you're not, if you have not downloaded, you can refer to that link. Now in this, we have to go to this option that is create new project. Okay, so here you have to specify the directory where you want to store your project. So let's say I want to store my project on the desktop. So I will select the desktop from here. Mm which is over here okay then after desktop you have to uh, give a name to the project so let's say it is um, uh, diabetes prediction okay so okay it is now fine now make sure that you have um, selected the correct interpreter now if if the interpreter is not correct, then it will show errors and the Python code that you're going to write in PyCharm won't run. So make sure you give the correct path of the interpreter of over here. Now you have to give the path of this python.exe file over here. For my uh, laptop, this was stored in a folder called Anaconda3, which was in turn stored in a Dell folder, which is, pre which is present in uh, the users folder. Now this may vary according to your machine so make sure you uh, give the correct path over here now after that you just need to click this button called create okay so the project has been created now so now just um, go to this terminal tab over here and write a command called uh, django admin start project then the name of the project so let's say uh, here also i'm going to specify the same name but you can specify any another name as well so let's say it is diabetes prediction again okay now hit the enter button this command has run successfully okay so here now you can see that so this was the original name that you gave while creating the project and now you can see an option over here a, a subfolder called diabetes prediction has been created inside it now once you open it there are two another files over here one is called manage.py and there is another folder which is also called diabetes predictions and there are some python files that are automatically created over here so these are some of the default files that are required by Django. Now the next step is that we want to start our server. For this we have to access this manage.py file. So right now we are in this directory according to this local terminal. Now in order to access this um, manage.py file we need to move into this uh, another directory called diabetes prediction. So let's move into it by writing this simple command cd diabetes prediction so now we have to write a simple command called python space manage.py then run server okay so here we can see that this command that we wrote here has successfully run 
and there is a link shown here let's click on this link okay so this link opens the local host on your machine and if you are able to see this rocket type of thing here it means that you have successfully started your project and now you can move ahead now what we actually want is that when we open this local host that is this url over here it shows the website for our diabetes prediction project so what we are going to do is we are going to edit this uh, html page okay so let's again move uh, back to our file charm okay now we have to create uh, an html page so for that um, we have to create a folder over here called templates in this directory so just right click on this directory and new directory now let's name this as templates so now in, in this templates directory we are supposed to create an html file let's name this file as home So this HTML file we are going to link to that web page that was just shown in the web browser. So let's make a simple modifications to this HTML page so that we can see that whether it is working well or not. So let's say the title of this is home and in body we just we will just write um, welcome to the home page. Okay so our page to be displayed is almost ready. So now we have to link this home.html page in the URLs. So just open this um, directory and you'll find a file called urls.py file over here. So in this um, one URL is already mentioned that is admin. Now we have to mention in another URL. We'll do that. Let's um, do it. Uh, now we want that whenever we open our website that is whenever we open this page our home page should be displayed so we need not to mention anything in these uh, double quotes next we will specify the function which is to be called when this url is opened so we will specify it here by writing views dot home let's say now this is showing an error that unresolved reference to views because we don't have any file called views yet so First of all, let's create a file called views.py in this directory. It should be Python file. Let's name it as views. Okay. So it is empty so far. We'll write the code in it afterwards. So here we have to import this thing, this views.py file. So for that, we have to write um, from dot import views. Now, this dot here specifies that from the current directory import views so now you can see that this error is gone okay so now uh, let's edit our views.py file so, so let's create a function over here let's say home with whose name was specified over here this this thing we'll create the function with same name over here and as an argument the request Keyword, keyword has to be passed now what we want that when whenever the this whenever we reach this url that means the default url this views dot home function should be called and in and in this home function let's return the html page that is the name of the html page that we want to display so we have to write it as return render then in this round bracket request and then the name of the HTML page, which was home.html. Okay, so there is some error over here, render, unresolved reference to render. For this, we have to import a file that is from django.shortcuts import render. Okay, now this thing is gone. Okay, so what, what is happening over here? Now, when we um, opened this URL over here, that is the default URL, it should call the home function which is present in the views file because we have specified that when the path is containing no no specific value that means the default path has been opened just call the home function from the views.py file now once you go to views.py file the control will shift to this home function it will return home.html page it means that this home.html page that we have designed over here, it should be displayed over here. 
So let's check whether it is working or not. So we can check it by just refreshing this page. Okay, there is some error over here. First of all, we need to put this in single quotes or double quotes. Okay, we can refresh it again. Okay, yeah, there is some another error now. That template does not exist. This home.html. Now the thing is that it is not able to find this home.html page because just see that we have not specified the whole path of this file that where it is stored we have just specified the name of this file so so because of this reason this it is not able to locate that where exactly this file is stored that is why this error is shown over here that template does not exist or you can say that this template has not been found so for that we just need to make some changes in this settings.py file now in this just uh, go to this um, uh, just this one this templates and in this we have to specify the default directory that means here we have to specify the name of the directory where the templates uh, where, where all the templates that are required for our website will be stored by default so for that we just need to specify this in some specific format that is os dot path dot join then in round bracket it should be base underscore dir then comma here in single quote you have to specify the name of the folder in which you are going to store your templates so here we have already created a template folder templates folder so make sure you specify the correct name over here um, So we have specified the name over here in the settings.py file. So uh, let's refresh that page again. Okay, so here you can see that it is working fine. Here uh, in this home.html file, we, we had written this welcome to home page and it is, it is being shown over here. It means that our home page is connected well and it is working fine so here the basic settings of django are done now in the next step we are going to edit this home page and then connect our machine learning code that we did in the previous video to this uh, website thanks for watching